Even me, as a friend, was like, I don't understand why this was the matchup you wanted so bad. Is it something that you dislike about him? Well, I mean, who likes Paulo Costa? Come on. So it's just, just you don't be, like him? No, I mean, no, but yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, like, realistically, come on. And we're rolling. But really, truly, like him, yeah, he scares me. You yeah. know, and he's one of the top elite guys. And for me, you know me, I'm always going straight for the jugular. And I'm going to come back to do this thing. I'm going to do it right. Yeah. And I need a guy that's going to get me up out of bed. It's going to scare me into working my ass off, yeah. into pushing myself to be the best I can be. Arms crossed, just on your elbows, and I want to see the blood. What are you going to pull from on Saturday if Paulo Costa does do something that hurts you? Where's Luke Rockle going to go to in those moments when you've done everything? Because mm -hmm. I'm a f***ing man. Thank you. I've been caught, I've been dropped, but have I ever broken in a no. fight? I'm a man, and I will never break to a man like Paulo Costa. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. There's a lot of questions about Luke's chin and his ability to take punches. Is it important for you to pressure him early and test that chin and his ability to take damage in there? His chin will be tested. I have no doubt about that. If he has some fragility on his chin, I'm not you. You also tweeted that you're the best looking man ever. <laughs> <laughs> Who disagree? <laughs> Do you think Luke Rockhold is number two? Yes. I think. <laughs> I think. What kind of fight do you expect? I mean, do you think they don't want to come out and strike with you? Yeah, yeah, probably. I think they'll try to come out and strike. Um, I am just leaps ahead of him when it comes to striking. He's, he's a good wrestler, but I'm a good mixed martial artist. I can put it all together. <laughs> I am solely focused on becoming a world champion. And if he thinks it's going to be like the first fight, he's already lost the fight. What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Hey, good luck this weekend, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? What's up? Stylistically, obviously, it's going to be, you would think different. I mean, you guys have both improved greatly since the first meeting. But I just wonder, I mean, in that time, in seven years, can his wrestling get better than your wrestling? Can your striking get better than his striking? Uh, not a similar fight. I think we're, we're both much more experienced. But when he comes down to it, let's be honest, he don't want to wrestle with me. I've been doing this for almost over 20 years, and you, seven years, you, yeah, it's not going to get better than mine. It's going to be effective, but it's not going to get better than mine. The guys all have momentum. That's your fight. How often do you draw back to those days when you had those little bit of insecurities? Every day. Every day. I'm still scared. Yeah, I'm we all got to be. Yeah, I'm scared of Leon right now. I'm worried his one, two is flu more fluid than mine. Yeah. It's slicker than mine. It might be a little bit faster than mine. You know, but the one thing I got to remember myself is when he throws his one, two, it look nicer, slicker. But when I throw my one, two, they go to sleep. Oh, yeah, you behind the ah. Boom. Hey. <laughs> he was hit it. Michael just hit him like, ah. I'm gonna tell the show now. Yeah, let's go, let's go. It's pretty simple. Just uh, do my best, you know. I know I am top. I grew up in Georgia. I was fighting in the street a lot, and a lot of, a lot of gangsters was walking outside, and it was, it was top life back then. But thank God I started it's mixed martial art. I start sport, and sport changed my life. That's how we get you. That's how you're gonna do it. There it is. Excellent. Bro, there's nothing like having a top 10 guy in the world push you every single day. There's nothing like the chaos that Marab brings. Marab brings absolute, utter insanity to every round. Wait. I am fully fully confident that he's going to go in there and do what Marab does and create an utter war for Jose Aldo. Ah, that's f***ing beautiful. 
just sharpening my blade all week. That's what, that's what training camp is, you know? We just sharpen our weapons. It's fitting. Tito! Ha! You wanna fall? You go go that, huh? Who's wins this game? Who's the stop? I'm in Ecuador. <laughs> is this Ecuadorians do it? Ecuadorians goes like When it's yeah. Americans, we call it. We should just we should go straight for the Let's jug. Go. This is sick. Cheeto, Cheeto, we're gonna shoot. We gotta have a shoot off here real quick here. Pick your weapon, see what you got. Where'd I go? We're in the black, baby. I heard paper right here. It counts, Cheeto. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> you mind if we grab a photo with you and your knives? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, come on, get in the middle here. Hey, go to the press conference. Let's go. Where are you at, Paulo? Go. This is the waiting room to go out and to have a press conference. <laughs> it, feels like, it feels like a <laughs> locker room, <laughs> right? Not a locker room. I like to sure feel go a and talk. It's nice to feel the locker. You're room. acting like it's a locker room, buddy. <laughs> it is a locker room. It's been three <laughs> years. I want to feel every <laughs> minute of it every time. <laughs> oh, kiddo. Welcome to the UFC 278 press conference here in Salt Lake City, Utah. What's up, Salt Lake City? How are you? Finally, in Utah, Salt Lake City with a pay-per-view. Who has the first question? Rukumar, I want to start with you. What if you don't have quite the focus because you're number one pound for pound, you beat this guy before? So I'm just curious, like, how do you prevent that from happening in your preparation from not easing off the break a little bit? Yeah, I mean, talk is talk. You know, there's one thing that got me here, and that's, you know, my work ethic. Success only drives me to work even harder. So if they're thinking that I'm slipping, it's going to be a bad night for them. Leon, uh, it's obviously this is a huge fight for you. You know, it's a title fight. It's a rematch of the last guy that beat you. I guess, I mean, is this getting personal in any way for you? It's all good, like I said. Listen, if you I look am, like I me, am. you would dress like this, too. Bro, you <laughs> You don't like Terry Crews, bro. The fame is definitely getting to your head, and I'm a humbly ass on Saturday night. This is a question for Luke Rockhold. At the uh, media day yesterday, Paolo wasn't very impressed with your jiu-jitsu. I'm curious, do you believe you have the grappling advantage in this fight? I'll treat Paolo like a bitch if he gets to the ground. It'll be over. Paolo, I'm curious, your thoughts on, on that? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Come on. I am on my prime time. I will this old man on the Saturday. He is physically uncomfortable because he knows he will face a monster and I will hit his on Saturday. Hey, have you ever dealt with adversity? The one time you met adversity, you missed weight by 20 pounds. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out today, Salt Lake City, and uh, we're gonna rip this stuff out of here and square them off for photo ops. Be cool. It's not today. Be cool. Don't no, go, baby. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, you too. That's awesome.